Um, great to present a paper in the title Sequential Recommendation with the composed hidden feature routing. About this talk, we have divided into several parts. First, we would like to explain the element of sequential recommendation and the motivation of this work. Then, I'm going to introduce the preliminary of framework we propose in this paper. Then, I'm going to show the power of the model along with some experiments. Finally, we will make some exploration or a final research direction. Recommend is playing a provider role in modern e-commerce, which has brought a huge amount of business values. The key of a successful recommend system lies in the accurate model of a user preference. To achieve this goal, people have proposed quite a lot of algorithms, among which sequential recommendation is a very classic one. Basically, sequential recommendation aims to predict the next item based on user previously interactive products. The effectiveness of this method comes from the fact that user behaviors are always correlated. A form item may trick different sequence, subsequent ones with varied probabilities. Models like number theory have achieved promising results, while the above models can achieve promising results. They mostly represent an item with a uniform embedding, which is limited in capturing more subtle user involving preference. As examples in the second line of figure, in the beginning, the user selected movies according to the type and many action movies were watched among which she found the band of brothers very impressive and would like to see more film directed by the same director. Such minority report was watched by the user in the next. In this movie, the user was moved by skills of the actor and then select a movie based on the actors without knowing was seen due to the famous actor cage. At the last, the user watch Ghost Rider, which is an action film starred by Cage. In this example, the, film, the final film is interrupted because the user is recently interested in the actor Cage and also likes action movies in the past. For Fast and Furious and the brand of brothers, their types are the key factors influencing the user final choice, while for knowing its act is more important. Essentially, the above the user sequential behaviors are driven by user involving preference on item features, such as film type, act, and direct. Discovering the critical feature sequences can be extremely important. However, in previous unified embedding schemes, all item features are mixed, which makes it impossible to highlight the key feature sequences. To bridge this gap, in this paper, we propose to build sequential recommend models by explicitly capturing user feature level involving preferences, while this idea is intuitive. There are many challenges to begin with. Effectively defined item features is not easy. Usually, each item is associated with quite a lot of features, uh, such as product category, price, and quality. Sometimes their combinations can also be important. For example, people may jointly consider the price and the quality of an item enumerate all the features is practically infeasible. Thus, more efficient methods are needed, and then selecting a feature sequence is basically a combinational optimization problem, and different users may enjoy their own preference in one patterns. How to select optimal and personalized sequence uh, is also a challenge in our modern designs. This framework 
uh, of a traditional sequential recommender system. Uh, they represent an item with an embedding, and they input the user history sequence into the neural network. The output is a embedding representing user preference. However, in this unified embedding schemes, all item features are mixed, which makes it impossible to highlight the key feature sequence. To overcome the above challenge, we propose a sequential recommendation with decomposed item feature routing, called the Detain for short. Uh, to build the sequential recommender models in specific, our model is composed of two modules. One is responsible for item feature definition and the other aims to effectively loot the key feature sequence. Let's start with the first module. Usually, each item is associated with quite a lot of features, such as the, the product category, price, and quality. Sometimes their combination can also be important. For example, people may jointly consider the price and the quality of an item. Enumerate all the features is practically infeasible, thus more uh, efficient methods are needed. In our model, we propose two types of feature definition methods for shooting different application scenarios. The most straightforward method uh, for defining item feature is directly corresponding item to human understandable concepts. For example, in the field of e-commerce, the features can product category, price, and quality. While for movie domain, we can regard the film actor type and director as its item feature. Formally, suppose there were k features in system, and for each item, we its embedding is EV. Then we Computer representation of feature K for item V by equation 1. Formally, suppose there are K features in the system, and for each item V, uh, where WK is a projection metric converting the item embedding into the feature space. Suppose the observed item feature value is represented by a vector S. Then we can learn parameters based on equation 2. Based on this object, uh, objective, we can obtain a feature embedding set, which will be searched to form key sequences for reviewing user sequential preference. While the above method is intuitive, accurately, accurately determining the feature is not easy. Uh, only one hand the features for an item can be defined in multiple ways. For example, the features of a product can be its profiles like categories, name, price, and quality. Alternatively, one can define features and topics of user reviews post posted on its product. Although one can run models repeatedly for this feature to tune the best performance, it is time consuming and cannot guarantee that all features are considered. On the other hand, even if one can enumerate all features, their combination also induces additional meaningful features, such as the price quality ratio. However, it is hard to determine which features to combine and how to merge them. Motivated by the drawbacks of explicit feature definition, we propose to firstly define item features in the latent spaces, and then learn them by imposing desirable constraints. Comparing with the above manually indicated item features, latent features are more flexible and expressive in profiling items adaptively to the data. The method of ex implicit feature decomposed is the same as explicit, but we learn it in 
um, and supervised manner, we introduce a orthogonal uh, constraint for each pair of features to reduce duplicate information within them. That is calculated by equation four. Based on the explicit or latent feature embeddings, the next component aims to model how the user preferences evolve on these features. In the following, we use F to represent the embedding of feature K for uh, item V without distinguishing the explicit and latent methods. We design the following two methods to capture user feature preferences. The first method is based on the attention mechanism. The goal of attention is to derive an enhanced item embedding by distinguishing different feature importances. In specific, the embedding of item V is computed by equation 1, where of K is the, the attention weights indicating the feature importance and we implement it by equation 2, where we incorporated user embedding to derive personalized attention weights, since different users may have their own preferences on item features. Our final loss function is an implementation of equation 3. As for reinforcement learning-based method intuitively, the user's preferences on item features are usually chronologically related. Uh, the involving character of user preference inspires us to connect the feature routing problem with Markov decision process. We define the following Markov decision process at each time step t. The action is selecting feature from 1 to k and said as is derived from all the previously selected features. The reward is computed at the end of the feature selection process, which is defined as the negative loss of sequential recommended model that is calculated by equation 5. Our final loss function is implement implementation of equation 6. In order to maximize rewards, we aim to select a feature sequence which can achieve lower optimization loss. This is an uh, overall comparison between the baselines and our models. We use both fonts to label the best performance. Our experiments are conducted based on five datasets and we compare our model with five baselines. Uh, we can see sequential models like NUM and SUSREC can achieve better performance and then non-sequential ones such as BPI and the NCF. The results agree with the previous work. Encouraging our model can other perform the best baseline on all the data sets across different evaluation metrics or among different variants of our model transformer based implementation can usually achieve better performance than dry ones. Uh, this result is consistent with the above observation in the baselines which again demonstrates the effectiveness of self attention mechanism for improving the recommendation performance. Uh, so, in this paper, we propose to build sequential recommended models by discovering the key item features that can better reveal user sequential preference. And we propose comprehensive solutions including both explicit and latent feature definition as well as soft and hard feature sequence routing methods. Uh, extensive experiments based on real-world datasets demonstrate the effectiveness of our model comparing with baselines. This paper makes an initial step toward feature-level user sequential preference modeling. In the future, there is much 
room left for improvement. That's all. Thank you.